Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 31st question from CBSE Class 10 Examination 2022-23, Section C, where each question is of 3 marks. Now, the 31st has an OR question as well. So, let us start with the first one. A room is in the form of cylinder surmounted by a hemispherical dome. The base radius of hemisphere is one half the height of the cylindrical part. Find the total height of the room if it contains 1408 over 21 cubic meter of air. Take pi as 22 over 7. So let us try to understand this given question by using a rough diagram first. So this is the cylindrical room and it is having a hemispherical dome as we can see. Now the base radius of the hemisphere is same as the base radius of the cylinder. So I have drawn the base radius for the cylinder here and I have considered it as to be as R. The base radius of the hemisphere is one half the height of the cylindrical part. So here we have written that the radius is going to be one half the height of the cylinder. Now rearranging this part, we are going to get height of the cylinder as two times the radius. So height of the cylinder is considered as H here and the radius as R. The next given data is find the total height of the room if it contains 1408 over 21 cubic meter of air which means this is a hollow room or this is an empty room. So this is filled up with air. So the entire volume of the shape is going to be 1408 over 21 cubic meter. Now given this, we need to find out what is the total height of this room. That is height of the cylinder plus height of the hemisphere. So for that, let us write down first the total volume of the given shape. So the volume of the shape is nothing but the volume of the cylinder plus the volume of the hemisphere. So we have to write down the respective formulae for volume of cylinder which is pi r square h and volume of hemisphere which is two third pi r cube. Now here volume of the shape is given. So let us substitute over here the volume of the shape which is 1408 over 21. Now for volume of cylinder and volume of hemisphere we are going to write pi is been given as 22 over 7 times r square times height is written as 2 times the radius plus volume of hemisphere is 2 third times pi is 22 over 7 times r cube. Now let us simplify this further. So we have so 22 over 7 times r square multiplies with r giving us r cube times 2 plus 22 over 7 r cube times 2 over 3. Now if you look over here 22 over 7 times r cube is a common factor in both. So taking the common factor out, we get 1408 over 21, that is your left hand side, is equal to 22 over 7 times r cube and in the bracket remains the factor 2 and from the second term we get 2 over 3. Now here taking the common LCM, we are going to get 2 over 1. So here 3 multiplies with 2 and it multiplies with 1. So here 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2 which gives us 8. And there is a common denominator now which is 3. So here 1408 over 21 equal to 22 over 7 times r cube. Now 6 plus 2 is 8 over a common denominator 3. Now let us take the numbers 22 over 7 and 8 over 3 on the other side of the equal to sign. So here we rearrange it and write it as r cube is equal to 1408 over 21 times 22 over 7 flips upside down so it reciprocates and becomes 7 over 22 times 8 over 3 becomes 3 over 8. Now we have to simplify this so here we are going to get 3 1 times is 3 and 3 7 times divides each other. So here we have 7 1 times and 7 1 times. So this can be further simplified so here 1408 can be divided by 8 so 8 1 times is 8 and 8 176 times is 1408. Now here 176 and 22 again can divide each other. So 22 1 times and 22 8 times is 176. So we have got r cube is equal to 8. Now if we want to find out the radius, we need to take the cube on the other side of the equal to sign. So r becomes equal to cube root of 8 and cube root of 8 we know that it is 2. So we have got the base radius of the given shape. So it is going to be 2 meters. Now to find out the height, because the total height of the shape is going to be the base radius plus the total height. Because if we look at this figure, so this is your radius for the base. 
so the same thing adds up to the height so this is also going to be the radius so the total height of the shape is going to be r plus h so to find out the height we are going to make use of this relationship which we had from the question which is 2 times radius so let us come back over here and write height is equal to 2 times radius which is nothing but 2 times 2 which gives us 4 meters so the total height of the shape is r plus h that is 2 plus 4 which is nothing but 6 meters now let us move on to the b question now the 31B question is also from surface areas and volumes chapter as was the A1. An empty cone is of radius 3 cm and the height of the cone is given as 12 cm. Ice cream is filled in it so that lower part of the cone which is one sixth of the volume of the cone is unfilled but hemisphere is formed on the top. Find the volume of the ice cream. Now this is the figure given in which the radius of the cone is given as 3 cm and height as 12 cm. And it is given that the ice cream is filled in such a way that the last one sixth part of the cone is unfilled but as the ice cream has been filled it forms a hemisphere above the cone. So it is shown over here that one sixth last part of the cone is unfilled. So if one sixth is unfilled then the remaining five sixth is going to be filled. So five sixth volume of the cone filled with ice cream. Here we need to find out the volume of the ice cream. So it is going to be the sum of 5 6 the volume of the cone filled plus the volume of the hemisphere formed above the cone. So let us begin by writing the given data along with the volume of the cone first. So given is the radius taken here as r is 3 cm and the height of the cone is considered as h equal to 12 cm. And the volume of the entire cone is given by the formula 1 third pi r square h. So let us find out first what is the total volume of the cone by substituting the value of r and h in this formula. So we have 1 over 3 times pi times r is 3 cm. So 3 square times h is 12 cm. Now here simplifying this we have 1 over 3 times pi. Keep the pi as it is till the last. So here pi times 3 square is 9 times 12. Now we can divide 3 and 12. They go in the table of 3. So 3 1 times and 3 4 times gives us 12. So 9 times 4 gives us 36 pi. So this is the volume of the cone. Next let us try to find out the volume of the cone filled with ice cream. So here we have volume of the ice cream in the cone is 5 6 the volume of the cone filled. So here we have already got the volume of the cone which is 36 pi. So let us substitute over here. So we have 5 over 6 times 36 pi. Now 6 and 36 divide each other so 6 1 times and 6 6 times is 36. So 5 times 6 gives us 30 pi. Now we have got the volume of the ice cream in the cone. Now let us try to find out the volume of the ice cream on top of the cone. And the volume of the ice cream is going to be volume of the hemisphere. So here we are going to write volume of the ice cream on top is equal to volume of the hemisphere. And volume of hemisphere is given by the formula 2 over 3 pi r cube. Now substituting the value of r which is 3 in this formula we get 2 over 3 pi times r cube which is 3 cube. And 3 cube is going to give us 27. Now 3 and 27 divide each other that is 3 1 times and 3 9 times. So 2 multiplies with 9 giving us 18. So it is going to be 18 pi. Next let us find out the total volume of the ice cream in the cone and in the hemisphere. So we have now total volume of ice cream is given as volume of ice cream in the cone plus volume of ice cream on top. So volume of ice cream in the cone we had got it as 30 pi and volume of ice cream on top it is 18 pi. So 30 pi plus 18 pi gives us 48 pi because both are like terms. Now we are going to substitute the value of pi as 3.14. So multiplying 48 with 3.14 we get 150.72 cm cube. So this is the volume of the ice cream filled up in the cone along with the hemisphere. I hope you understood all the steps and liked the video. If you know any other way of solving this example do comment below. And if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.